Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Hot Wheels, world's best driver. I only need one more medal, so we're on track. Let's see if Twin Metal can save the day, prove sufficient for this. There's also a prototype, that one's actually also vert. Huh. You know, that was so fast, excuse me. I said that was Alex yesterday, <laughs> last episode, didn't I? Yeah, I'm gonna eventually write down which cars are who, so I don't make rude mistakes like that. I wrote that stuff down for Alex for some reason. Okay, so two. Four, so fast. Right there. So total right now. Average score for green team is 1.5. Total score is 3. MVP is so fast. Now we go back to... But this one's still going... This one's turned on. Last one's still going to be bird again. And we'll see Alex later. No, wait. What am I talking about? That was... Like I said, I'm going to write down which cars are who later, so I don't confuse all these things. That was indeed Alex. So fast is Jet Threat and the uh, Bike. Okay. So, MVP is Alex. Excuse me. Okay. What's this one? Put this started. Put this into the log. Event 1.3. Catch the ghost as quickly as possible. Sure. Go get the chase car, green driver, and make it as fast as possible. That means not hitting anything along the way. Are you implying something? Whatever. Okay. So just catch up to him. It's kind of weird, but I'll go for it. So this car, on the other hand, has some nice drifting to it, from what I've seen, unlike the F1. I'm not used to... Whoa. Oh, you can also just lose control of it if you turn a little bit too hard. You just have to touch it, okay. Tag. Okay, so that's two. So will I go back and redo events at any point? Maybe, probably at least if I, I'll at least have to do it if I have to to get to um, later events. Will I at some point continue to 100% of this game after I played all these? I don't know, because right now I'm using these scores as the scores for the characters, so it's kind of weird. It would be kind of weird to go to try these things multiple times to get a better score right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if anyone has any suggestions, too, for how to change up the formula for this game, if you want to see something different, then feel free to say so. But I think I know how things are going to work out right now. I'm just not completely sure if I'll ever go back to get any medals I've lost or missed or anything like that. This one. So I'll do this one real quick if I can. No. Do you have to get all the... You might have to complete everything else to get that out, or something like that. You might have to get all nine of these to unlock the duel, which would be unfortunate. I'll see what goes on with that then. Because I would love to do that. Great work on stage one. Keep it going into stage two. You've got this. It's interesting. It, it doesn't... None of the other stages seem to have a duel like that. We'll learn about these things later, I'm sure. Okay. Anyways, so let's get on to our next team. Green team, super fast. So anyways, where, where are we right now? So green team currently... Wait. No, that was Vert with one point. Wait. Darn it. <laughs> I lost track of things. I didn't write something down that I was planning to write down. So I only did the three events, though. I think that was what it was. I confused myself because I thought I was going to have four events this stage. But no, I only had three. Okay. Green team. Super fast. On to... Green are we going to do blue next? I think we'll go the other direction. Red team. Outrageous. Alright, so red team. Red team is the first of the robot teams. Also, what's our special ability? 
chain reaction, whatever that is. So I'm not sure what I'll do with purchasing these, because I don't I won't want to give one team an advantage over the other. If I bought all of them at once, that'd be another thing. So we'll see. I might save up tokens and then buy all those at once. Alright, so red team is comprised of Gearhead, XD3, Metacog, and Racecam. Who's on which car? We will see. It's been really interesting seeing a couple of cars come back though in updated forms so far. First stop bike. Who what robot's gonna ride a bike? This is gonna be weird. That's X-T3. It has treads, like what else could it be? Phone shaker, oh. These are all bikes. This is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be very interesting. Okay, but what am I gonna just for the time being, I'm gonna just kinda put these off on the side. I'm gonna go back to the green car slide just so I can write down who's who. I'll just stick it in the margins of the spreadsheet for the moment. Just to make sure as soon as possible I don't do anything stupid. Confusing which car is which again. Okay, so Twin Mill is of course... Typing with one hand here. Twin Mill. Thank you, autocomplete. Didn't even have to type the full thing. Off-road prototype. I thought that was going to be Vert. So, proto... Type. And buggy. That, that it moves the opposite direction. I expected to move. I'm pressing up and it makes the thing I'm currently selecting go up. It's kind of weird. So Alex, Alex's blade. Carver. And jet R. Oh, it's not high school jet. R so fast. Okay. It's weird seeing a jet that 4.0 though. <laughs> I didn't expect that. It's nice to see, nice to see some old names though. Okay. Now, onto the red, we'll say who is who. XT3 is most definitely the one with the treads though. That's a given. XT3 is snow. Freestyle. So who do we have to choose from? Freestyle, Bone Shaker. See, the thing is that Bone Shaker was actually Rigor Motor at one point, but Rigor Motor's not here. Who would want a car like Bone Shaker? But be somebody. Call that gear out, I think. I mean, it has like a it has a skull on the front. It's gonna be whoever's most combative. Street nose. That one has a nice slick design, so I'm gonna call that race cam. Nose. Sand, I might call that Metagog. Riprod. Riprod I probably could also call it. That one reminds me a little bit of Feedin or Fatum, whatever it's called. I, said, I just said Gearhead is driving Gearhead a moment ago. That's not what I meant to say. Freestyle, Gearhead's on. Did I say Gears on Freestyle? I don't think I did. Wait a minute here. Bone... Bone Shaker. And... And Rip. Rip Rod, those are our Gearhead rides. And then who is on this last one? This is a really plain bike. Like a super plain bike. How much do these cost? Out of curiosity. Not a lot. You yeah, have a much more plain design, it's kind of funny. This bike. I mean, it's not going to feel appropriate for anyone, really. So, who do you want to have more representation? Gearhead? Well, not Gearhead, Gearhead already has two cars. XD3, Metacog, or Racecam? I feel like Metacog should be the one that gets more representation. If you want to argue with that, then go ahead, but it's going to be hard for me to want to try to change any decisions after this, because I'm actually writing down who is getting what scores, so it'd be annoying to have to change scores afterwards. Freestyle. Okay. 
So now we know who is who. For the red team. And this one, it's beautiful, 63. It actually has Trez. Like, it's a miracle when we find a card that's actually appropriate for XP3. Look at that. It's red. Okay. So what are these guys doing? So I could inc include actual scores or times for these sorts of things, but that's going to be hard to do. But I probably should put the actual time on. Twin Mills chase event earlier, but the thing is, it's gonna be hard to compare anyone. Nursing music, because not because these all have different types of scores and times and whatnot. So I'll probably just use the medals as my measure. This looks so ridiculous. This looks. You don't drift on something like this. Okay, whatever. Okay. Let's get the events going. All right, listen up. This is your navigator speaking. I'll be guiding you through this series of trials designed to show off, I mean test, your extreme motoring skills on the way to collecting the world's best driver trophy. Now, this is all about impressing the powers that be, so bring your A-game and try not to screw up. It's actually kind of interesting having dialogue in a game like this. I haven't had any dialogue since Lost of the Axe, even though it's a pretty different flavor here. Okay, so 1.1, Metacog. Gauntlet. Negotiate. Does Metacock have good negotiations good negotiation skills? Most of the negotiation we saw before was actually from the organics, now that I think about it back in extreme racing. Towards the end there, in exchange for drifting around storm after having gone a hold of gearhead. You need to be reckless to get the best times. Oh geez, can you do that, Metacog? I know Gearhead could. driver is able to perform some amazing two-wheel vehicle stunts. While accelerating, pull back on your steering controls to perform a wheelie. Press forward on your steering controls while braking to perform a stoppie. I'm used to those being called endos, but okay. Controls to maintain your balance. While on the ground, press and hold the drift button while steering and accelerating to do donuts. This while is going to take some getting used to. Use the steering controls to spin your bike forwards, backwards, left and right. Use the two trick buttons in combination to perform up to eight different special tricks. Performing tricks during downhill drop and freestyle events will award you points. Chaining together multiple tricks will start a trick chain. Add more links to your chain by doing different trick types back to back before the chain timer runs out. Each link on the chain will multiply the points you earned while the chain is active. If you hit six links on the chain, your vehicle enters on fire mode, allowing you to perform your special driver ability. Special driver abilities are unlocked in the team select menu. But I don't have any of those abilities yet. Also, so we apparently have two stunt buttons? That's my second stunt button. I have Y. So I sick. Oh wait. I have two trick buttons here. Do I only have one here? Interesting. How's our control scan? Very different. It's gonna take some time getting used to each of these playstyles. Thing is, I'm happy to get used to each playstyle individually. I think. I look at the how things are looking. Oh, well, that's not really how we do tricks. That was dramatic. You can't see it, but believe me, I'm dancing up here. That was pretty easy going. So that's a two for Metacog. Sure. <laughs> I'll go with it for the time being. And we're starting small, I imagine. Things are going to change from... from here to the end. In terms of challenge and length and all that, I'm sure. So, as time goes on and we've actually introduced everybody in all of these teams and all that, and we actually know who all the cars are, We'll definitely get more stuff done each episode, because we've done very little no-hastra episodes, and I apologize for that. But next time we will 
Oh, have XT3 do a little something. Freestyle. That'll be fun. I'll probably actually... Uh, we'll at least try to figure out how to do tricks this time, too. We'll see. So, it doesn't even tell me how to do those. How to unlock, unlock these. It's kind of weird. Whatever. Bye, everyone.